Oh man, Tucker's party is getting so close. Oh, I can't wait. <gasps> Look at all of these balloons. Oh, they're just so pretty. Oh, I, I know I shouldn't touch them, but they're so fun to bounce. I'm sure Tucker wouldn't mind if I play with a few of them until he gets back. Oh, look at them. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. What have I done? Oh, I messed up big time. I popped all of Tucker's lovely balloons. Oh, he's going to be so mad at me. <gasps> what if he uninvites me to his party for ruining his decorations? Oh, that would make me so sad. Maybe I shouldn't tell him. Or maybe I should leave so he won't know I did it. Oh, what should I do? Hey, Nellie, you sound kind of upset. What's the matter? Oh, uh, uh hi, Katie. Uh, n nothing's wrong. N nothing at all. Mm, I'm not sure that I believe that. Your words and your actions don't really match up. Uh, whatever do you mean? I mean, I don't, I don't have any actions. I'm just swimming here. I, I didn't do anything. Uh, did you see me do anything? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Nellie. I mean, I might have seen something out of the corner of my eye. Was it maybe something you weren't supposed to do? Uh, oh... Oh, Katie, oh, you're right. Oh, I, I did do something, something bad. Oh, I, I, I accidentally popped some of Tucker's balloons for his party, and well, I didn't mean to, but they were just so pretty and, and fun looking. And now I'm afraid he's gonna be mad at me and he won't want me to come to his party. It's okay, Nellie. The first step is admitting that you made a bad choice, and then the next is asking for forgiveness. I know Tucker, and I know that if you explain to him what had happened, that he will forgive you. Uh, do you really think so? I know so. What if I come with you and we can go find Tucker together right now and explain, and then maybe we can help him replace some of the balloons? Oh, well, that seems like a great plan. You know what? Thank you so much, Katie. Thanks for helping me. Uh, I know I made a bad choice playing with the balloons before the party, but if you can help me make it right again with Tucker, that would be amazing. I'm happy to help, Nellie. You know, that goes right along with our Bible story today. It's about someone who made bad choices, but when he meets Jesus, he realizes that he needs to change and ask for forgiveness. Are you kids ready to hear it? Then put your listening ears on because it's coming up next. Come on, Nellie, let's go find Tucker. Oh, and find some more party balloons. Maybe we can even find some heart ones to show how much friends love each other. That's a great idea. Yeah. We better get going, kids. Bye. Bye. Hi, friends. I'm Miss Kate with another true story from this book. Remind me, what is the name of this book? The, the Bible. Bible. Yes, the Bible. Are you ready to hear it? If so, say, I'm ready. I'm ready. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Zacchaeus. That's a fun name to say. Can you say it with me? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. His job was to collect money from everyone in town. Can you count three bills with me? One, two, three. The problem was Zacchaeus would take more than what you owed for taxes. We have $2 left. Well, instead of just taking the $3, Zacchaeus would say, I'll take that too. That's what Zacchaeus did day after day. He took more money than he was supposed to and kept it for himself. Was that wrong? Yes, it was wrong. And it made everyone really mad at Zacchaeus. But one day, something wonderful happened. Jesus came to town. Everyone was so excited too. But there was one problem. Zacchaeus was too short to see Jesus over all the people. Maybe Zacchaeus could jump and see Jesus. Can you jump with me? One, two, three, jump! Good job! You can have a seat again. 
jumping wouldn't work. Zacchaeus couldn't jump high enough to see Jesus. So Zacchaeus decided to climb a tree. Let's stand up again and pretend to climb a tree. Ready? Climb, climb, climb. Great job. Have a seat. Now Zacchaeus could see Jesus and Jesus could see Zacchaeus. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down right away. I want to go to your house today. All the people thought, why would Jesus want to go with him? He has made so many bad choices. He took money that didn't belong to him. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that there is anything we can do to make Jesus stop loving us? No. no. Even if we get put in a timeout, does Jesus still love us? Yeah. Yes. Jesus loves us no matter what. And Jesus loved Zacchaeus even though he had made bad choices. Zacchaeus was so happy that Jesus loved him and was his friend that he gave back all of the money he took from the people. Wow, Jesus loved Zacchaeus and Jesus loves you too. Who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Who does Jesus love? Jesus, Jesus loves, loves everyone. everyone. Yes, Jesus loves everyone. Jesus loves us when we mess up. Jesus loves us no matter what. Okay, friends, let's close our eyes and talk to God together. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus. Jesus loved Zacchaeus even when he messed up. Thank you for the truth that Jesus loves us no matter what. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends. Bye. Awesome, let's do it together. My head and shoulders, knees. 